<laughs> there's, always, um, there's always drama. This is never without drama. And today's no different. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of HairTube, and I'm here today with Maddie. Maddie is actually a former colleague of mine, and she's got in contact with me to see if I could um, give her a haircut, so that's why she's here. So, um, do you want to tell us basically what you said to me before? So, that's the style we're going for, is a shaggy, soft, cute mullet. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I think that'll be pretty cool, especially um, with Maddie's texture. Um, I think... Um, Curly hair and hair with texture is something that we often avoid and uh, I know it's something you guys often ask me to do more of, so I'll have that opportunity today. So let me just spin Maddie around. You can see that her hair's been dried naturally. We're just gonna work with this curl. Um, the biggest uh, change is going to be here. We're actually gonna do a little bit of an undercut so that this um, hair can sit over the top if she wants, um, but she can also have it parted to one side because this looks cool too. So. It doesn't have to all come forward all the time, but she did say she wanted to wear it with the fringe sometimes, back off her face, forward. Um, but in through here, we're actually gonna, you know, do a nice little undercut, so. Something that's um, pretty funky and fun. Yeah, different. Yep, I reckon it'll be fun. So I'm going to prep Maddie's hair today using Bilage Raw, um, just because we want to make sure that the curl is um, prepped so that we get the maximum sort of um, curl out of it when it dries. And then we're gonna talk about the styling products we're gonna use. So first I'm gonna get Maddie over to the basin. I'm gonna get a prep and bring it back. And today um, we've got something different. We're gonna film it differently today. So um, I'm not gonna to say too much in the intro because you're gonna to have to watch to see what it looks like. So we're gonna get over the basin, come back, see you real soon, bye. Okay, back from the basin. Back from the basin we are, and it's time to start this haircut. So, first I'm just gonna to explain to you guys basically the process I'm gonna go through. So the first section that we're gonna take is along here, because this is essentially going to be where our, our undercut is. This is where the drama happens. So I wanna create a panel here that's quite strong, um, but also goes short to long so that we can start to blend this in the back because I think it's really important that we do something that's a little bit more intelligent than just getting a pair of clippers buzzing the side and when Maddie wants to grow it out, well, her problem, not mine sort of thing. Whereas if I start, even we are going to go clipper, but if we start short and we get progressively long to the back, even if we extend it to behind the ear and start to blend it into this longer length, the grow out... Um, uh, period for her if she doesn't uh, you know want to keep this shape for forever um, if she wants to transition to another type of haircut um, is much easier than having a huge contrast between short and long and I think it almost can um, can, can almost look primitive as well it almost can look uh, quite amateur where you just like sort of buzz aside and it's done and then this falls over the top you've got almost like a, a shape here a shape here and a shape at the top so we're going to try and do something a little bit smarter and more intelligent than that um, basically, we're going to have the top. This can be worn forward, it can be worn down, it can be worn back. Um, as I said in the consultation, we can wear it to one side, we can wear it to the other side. So we want versatility in the top. We don't want this stuck 
to be having to be worn the same way each and every day. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to start. We're going to um, start in the back first. Here, we're going to make sure our shape is and our length is good there. Just going to chip into a little bit, then we're going to go straight onto the sides. Then we're going to do the top and the back. So we'll get uh, that back done first. And I have to keep myself up with my new camera. So when you um, when you come back, you're going to see what I see. We're going to start in the back here. Even though if we want this to have that almost mullet sort of edgy, funky feel, we want to keep as much of this length as we can. So we're just going to start by cleaning the neck up just a bit. And um, false hairlines is something that I do often, just because it allows us to control how this hair sits in the back. We want it to flick out and want it to be loose on the neck. Yeah, it's super cool. So just point cutting, just want it to be quiet. I'll just make sure I've got that right angle for you guys. Maybe even just a touch more. Again, we don't want to take too much length off here. We just want to make sure that we've got balance in the shape in the back. See that hair doesn't reach the baseline, so I'll section all this out like a woody falls doing the back. Leave that for now. We'll go here in the side. We're going to start to get this section ready because we're going to do here and then. <laughs> so I hope you guys are um, really going to benefit from the POV because. Um, for those of you who aren't hairdressers, I guess it gives you a sort of little bit of a different perspective because instead of watching what I'm doing, you sort of, I guess you almost get to see through my eyes, even though this is sort of mounted on my head and it's not exactly my eye position, but I've got it tilted down so you can see what I'm doing. Let me find some of my clips. You can see how dirty my trolley is. I've had a big week cutting hair, I need to clean that up today. I'm actually just here to do Maddie's hair. Um, Tuesdays I don't normally work, so. Often, something that's maybe even for some hairdressers an, an afterthought, I mean that respectfully, like it's, it's very important that we, we get this right. Okay, so let's now pluck this back. Now it's better, so we can see here. You can see there, and this is going to be tucked in around there, this is going to come out there, 
And the same here, this will come out there. So that's gonna look heaps cool, I think. take a horizontal section first as a guideline and you can see as I go to the rear of this I'm actually over directing it away so you can see it goes short to long here and I'm going to pick all this hair up from underneath let's just make sure that our guide in the back here is clean and I'm going to bring all this hair to this point section that away and put my comb there so now what that does is allows me to have see this length here we're going to transition out and we're going to come in with the clipper going diagonal you'll see now Hmm, I'm thinking I might leave this little yeah. piece of softness here. I like that. I think that's cool. I think it just gives it, again, something a little bit different. But what I will do is we're just going to nick that off so it works well like that. leave that like that and then I always always finish scissor over comb clippers for me are a bulk hair removal tool not a finishing tool scissors is how we finish So if the audio guys is not the greatest, what I'm planning on doing for the next one is I'll actually narrate it so that um, we can make sure that I'm communicating to you guys effectively. And you can see we've got this hair here to transition in that back section, very important. Let's see what it looks like from the side. I want to make sure that it's
Would have been perfect for Maddie. I think it's cool, just with this little BC, I think it's nice. Just leave softness. Again, um, want to make sure that we consider how this might grow out. Now, we just need to check our heights here. I'm doing that in the mirror. Yep, they're good. A bit dark on this side, so I'm going to spin Maddie around so we can use this sunlight coming in the window. So you got a little bit more natural light there. Just stand up, take my guide. Again, just making sure I leave it slightly longer towards the back. It's not that we're not recutting that again, it's just again always about giving yourself something to follow. You always need a guideline. Clipper. Make this slightly further back. Just want to check the width of the section too, and you can watch how I do this. Just going to use the comb and my finger. I'm going to go around to this side. Yep, we're spot on. Balance is so so important, guys. So important. Head to the side for me, gorgeous. Thank you. Clippers. Leave that, that's for transition. I'm going to comb that forward. Let's take this. So that's nice and curved and soft. And just need to make that touch shorter. Perfect. And the rest. We'll finish with a scissor over comb. Looking pretty good, huh? So again, my view, so you guys can see. Get Maddie to put her head slightly chin down for me, babes. So we're just gonna pull this in. Let's just get this front section away. I'm gonna pull this in, pull this in, and we're gonna look. So what I'm looking at, guys, is here and here. 
So this one's a little bit pronounced. It's always better to leave, leave it a little bit longer and then go back and take off that extra um, then go too short. And we're going to check these two. This one is a little bit longer. Now that should be perfect. Let's spin around. I think we just need to make a little adjustment. You can already see how badass this is gonna look like. If I just stand here and look like, and they've got some curly texture, and then we've got this coming around from the back. This is hanging over and diffusing it a little bit. It's gonna look super cool. This could be my uh, best video yet, Maddie. Let's hope so. I just feel like this right hand side is couple of millimeters higher just head to the side for me i'm just going to check one more time yeah i think it is it's only a little bit guys but it, and you know what there's there's probably a, a valid point to say well adam who's going to see exactly how high it is because it's an undercut well that's a valid point but i know <laughs> i know that one side was higher than the other and that'll keep me awake at night so it's got to be perfect I think it's a bit dark on this side for you guys, isn't it? I oh, know it's okay, those lights up there are doing their job. Let's have a look at the setup I've got up here for you guys. The lights up there, coming down. We're not using the light on the camera at the front at the moment. Hope you guys can really see the detail that I can see because I can I'm, I'm all, I can almost touch Maddie's ear with my tongue. I'm that close to her head. She's probably like, "Whoa, extreme close up." <laughs> okay, let's have a look now. Yeah, we just need to lop this little ledge off because that's going to cause us grief because it's going to push out on the curly hair. Just see that catch, guys? That's quick reflexes, man. All right, that's the sides done. Let me um, have a bit of a geese. Give us a geezer, head forward for me. Let's really shake this up a little so we can see what's going on here. You can already see, like this doesn't actually need that much off. So let me spin Matty around this way so you can see in the light. See why I left these? Look at the softness on the cheekbone. She's gonna be able to wear this curly and fun. Wear this like as a sweat fringe. Now we're up to the top. So when I'm working on the top, one of the things I do, uh, people say like, when I'm training them, hairdressers often ask me, where is it you know how to part the hair at the top? Is it just to, you know, to the ear? Well, not really. So when I comb Maddie's hair to the side, can you see what's happening? Like that's how we know that hair grows in the back, that hair grows in the front. And if I did it right, that should go right on where our um, section is. I think I actually might tidy these up a bit, Matty. They're a bit... There you go. They're a bit there you go, mate. A bit there you go. Bit, bit Kev from the commercial, cut his own hair. Shreya, Shreya. 
Oh, Kev. Me mate, Kev. Fucking Kev. <laughs> All right. So we now got this section away. And I'm going to actually get stuck into that again, guys, because I don't like to move on until it's done because I don't like backtracking, like going, moving on to another part of the head, coming back, going back, coming here, going there. Once it's I'm, I've finished on one particular part of the haircut, I'll never go back there again. Obviously, I'll check it when the hair's dry, but I don't want to cut a bit here, then go around here, then work on the top, then come back to the side. Like That's how you get lost really quick. All right, so what I'm going to do on the side here, spin Matty around again, we're going to utilize the sunlight. Make sure you guys can see. I'm actually going to take a section into the back here. And then I'm going to take some of this here. Because although we want to be able to tuck it, I, I know when it curls, it's going to spring up a little bit. But I want that to be a little bit shorter so maybe just sits on the ear and then I actually am going to need to bring this into that and blend. Does that make sense? Otherwise this is not going to connect and it's very important it connects. So let me see if I can put Matty up a little bit. I'm standing up, let's see if we can bring it up a bit higher. That way I don't have to, this thing is going to uh, give me neck problems I think. No, no, because I'm, I'm bending my head down so the guys, the guys at home can see. Okay, so we're going to actually take that all the way down there. And let's start with our length here. Again, if you cut it on zero, you're going to need to go back, or you're going to cut it on the skin, you're going to need to go back and texture. So I'm just going to project it out at like 30 degrees. And I want it to be slightly shorter in the front and longer at the back because I want to connect to the eyebrow. So I'm going to guess the eyebrow length. So we're going to go here. You can see it shift the distribution. Shifted. Not here. Shifted. Don't drop it. This is called over directing. And then we're going to bring this here as well. And again, you can see that I'm just using graduation because I want to make sure that the hair doesn't fall too heavy. Have a look at our line there. Next section. Starting to already run out of hair to cut. Don't go chasing it if it's not there. It's already quite short in the back. Well, for this particular haircut, it's quite short. Continue to work this length until we run out of hair. Now we'll start getting into our fringe length which you can see here. Right on the eyebrow, like I said. Let me see if I can actually do this sitting on a chair, guys. It might be a bit easier for you and me. Yeah. So you can see that line starting to come through there now. Now we can comb all that hair all the way across. Scoop this hair 
around, 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 around. You can see there in the corner, gives them a little guide is from the top. Be very careful when you point scissors towards a client's neck. Make sure you don't stab them, obviously. All right, let's do the other side. So you may ask, well, Adam, how do you make sure you get the length right on the other side? And I would say, I'm really glad you asked that question. <clears throat> so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a section right down the middle and where our fringe there is cut, <clears throat> we can use that as a guide or we can use the eyebrow like we did last time as a guide. Be careful, look at that springing up. Spot on, over directing. Again, making sure we're projecting the hair off the face. Like I said, the angle doesn't have to be 35, 45, it just, for me, if you want the hair to be soft, I'm not a fan of cutting it on the skin at, and making it solid, and then going back later and texturizing it. So, well, why don't you just use the right projection in the, in the first place, and then the necessity for um, texturizing, especially on curly hair to make it soft on the ends, is unnecessary. the side, comb this down, you can see just there we're just going to take this off, so I want to try and get that through my fingers if I can. For right handed people on this side it's hard obviously because the shoulder's in the way, that's better. And now we spin Matty around, we're going to look for balance here, and then if we've done it right we should end up with a point. Um, in the middle, which we just, just have to then knock out. I'm being very cautious on this side for the reasons I said already, because of this. See that? This one. Yep. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, so we should have a point, as I said, in the front, which we do, because where the two techniques meet on the side, you get a point in the middle. We want to go back to finding where that back section's off. You can see there, you can find it quite easy. And now, we want to get the length for the front right. So I'm going to cut this so it's going to go short to long, like this. Let me just sit down so you guys can get a better perspective again. So I want it to go from short to long. I want it to be slightly longer in the front and then longer here. So through this area here, we need to go shorter. So I'll show you how I achieve that. I take a section through the middle here. see that nice wide section doesn't have to be too um, particular and then we want to judge the length like this so we pick this section all up this is where our crown is so we're going to go to there let me pick the rest of the section up I think it might need to be shorter than that actually it's probably best we work backwards. A little bit too long, so that is perfect. Then we work uniform. Uniform means that we don't bring everything back into the center. We cut parallel to our partings. So now we've done that, we want to cross check. And I'm also going to see cross check just to make sure that we're square. And while I'm here, I'm just going to scoop out for texture. cutting so now we comb this hair back so back off the face this way that as a guide for the back too. So you can see that. And in the back, just chin forward for me. Thanks, Maddie. So you can see I'm lifting that just to get that guide for the back.
See that length is right where we want it to be. And now we want to maximize the length at the back like what I've been saying from the start. So if we go back to finding where we comb to the side and the back comes down, we'll have a guide because we've um, cut that by using the front as a guide for the length. And we're gonna layer this, projecting it out about 135, because we wanna encourage the curl. And in terms of removing any more length off this haircut, albeit that's only a centimeter, that will be it. Do some point cutting again to encourage movement. I'm not a fan of using texturizing scissors on curly hair or hair you're trying to get movement into. Chin down for me, gorgeous, thank you. I'm gonna move around into the sides. And this is going to be an interesting one. How am I gonna show you guys this actually? Oh, I'll have to go this way. So you can see where I'm standing here behind Maddie. <coughs> What we need to do is ask Maddie just to tilt her head to the side. And then we stand, if I'm working, if I want to cut the right side, I'm standing here on the left. I'm going to come all this forward. And we're going to just make sure that we put some texture in here. You can point cut if you want, but we're elevating it like we're layering the hair. So well above. 90 degrees. So I just. Let me see if I can tilt this down for you guys a bit. So you can see where I'm looking at here. And then also, I want to make sure that we're not forgetting these side pieces here. And then we're going to continue to work through the top. Now we've gone past halfway. We're going to spin Maddie around the other way. Spin around. Pirouette, 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 pirouette. <laughs> Yee! All right, and again, we ask that this bring her this way. We comb this to the side. You can see, taking a section here, lifting it all up. And then, don't forget the back. The back being the back part that's behind the ear. And this is just about texture. And all we need to do is then, where the point is in the fringe, we need to Cut that out and make sure that it's sitting right on her eyebrows because we want to see some of that forehead when it curls. But um, when Maddie's wearing it forward, I don't want it to dry too short. If she wants to do that, she could almost like style this up off her face. When it's um, wearing it down, I want the fringe to look like a fringe or the bangs to look like bangs. Okay, so then I'm now in the front. Tilt this back up for you guys so you can see. And I'll just
just want to take this point out. Just head up for me, Dom. Connecting here to here now. Patience of a saint. Look at the hair on her face. Connecting here to here. And all right, I reckon we're done. Let me grab the hair dryer. A little bit heavy here, we might do something about that. That's why it's good to have a visual check. Right now we we'll just get some um, styling product and I think we're ready to um we're ready to dry it off. How beautiful is Maddie? Isn't she just gorgeous? It's the most hair you've ever had. What are you talking about? Maddie uh, usually has. Uh, actually, I was expecting you to tell me today, like. Adds time to cut it all off, eh? No, I'm growing it out. Maybe I'll save it up for you to do something real cool one day. So what I'm doing now, guys, is just visually, you know, as I blast it a little bit, so as it starts to dry visually, I can see where it's heavy and where I, close your eyes, babe, where I like it and where I don't, where I think it needs to have some weight taken out. Okay, so just a little bit of the um, Matrix Total Result High Amplifier. You can see that Maddie says been drying during the process of cutting. Um, I blasted the cut hair out, and now we're just going to work some of this in. So really, just want to bring out that natural movement that she has. A little bit of the texture. So you can see there's so many cool ways we can style this. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Now we can have all this come to the side. Let me just sort this back out first. And we can have that sort of coming up like this into a quiff. Pull this back. Yeah, it can be a little bit of a mohawk, faux hawk.
and we're done. All that's required now is to fix that in place. Some of the matrix volume fixer, because we don't want it to go flat. You can see that I've actually intentionally scooped it like this with my hands, so I reckon that's super cool. And then we'll do back on the other side. Again, just sometimes good just spray it on your hands like this. And that will seal the deal, Maddie. Look great. How's my forehead? <laughs> this is from the GoPro. <laughs> you look great. Thanks for trusting me. Thank you. Um, look forward to seeing you again, and we'll maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maddie usually usually has a hair like really short, like pixie short. So this is a nice change for me. I think. Um, maybe we'll, we'll see. Like. Yeah, no, no, it's like, it's really like cool like that. I, yeah. I like that sort of boldiness, that weightiness. Um, yeah, thanks for trusting me again. Yeah, I love it. Cool. Thanks for uh, watching again, guys. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't already uh, subscribe. And if you think you know someone who may benefit from this video, make sure you share it with them. Maddie, thank you. Um, and also thank you to Matrix. Um, you guys are the ones that make this possible. Supply me with all the goodies I need to create continued content so you guys out there can benefit from that. So um, until next time from Axis here in Canberra, bye.